Eu... Uh... <clears throat> so hey guys, welcome or oh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maureen Momo. Please take a breath because this is about to be your home. Yeah guys, I'm back with another video and as you can see the title. Yeah, I've been asking myself that question for, a, for quite a long time. And I got answers for myself and I said why not come and share it with you guys. Maybe someone can learn from me or someone can learn from, I mean like, um, what my reasons would be. As you can see the title. Yeah, if I was to be given my virginity back, would I still, would I keep myself until marriage or I would still lose it? Like would I still lose it or I would wait until marriage? And why? Well, my reply would be to that question because, yeah, because we cannot predict the life that we are supposed to live because we all didn't know that we would lose it at a certain point of the time because I, I won't say that I'm going to blame it on anyone who has lost their virginity. Because in the first place, we were supposed to keep ourselves. I mean, like, you understand? So, I don't know, but I think I would keep myself. Yeah, to a certain point, I would keep myself if I knew, if I knew what I have experienced in life. And to another extent, because you cannot predict what your future holds for you, I wouldn't say that I would lose it or not. And you know why? Because <coughs> these are my reasons why I wouldn't lose it, why I wouldn't lose my virginity, yeah? You know someone is looking at me and I'm feeling kind of shy, so <laughs> you're going to bear with me, yeah? Why I wouldn't lose it, why I would keep myself until marriage is because, you know, there is a pain that comes with, um, with breaking up with the people that you've been sleeping with, I mean like the people you've been dating. You know, that pain, the regret and everything, the time you have wasted, you know. So, me, I think it's very wise to, you know, date someone you know that you're going to end up in marriage. Because, yeah, we cannot still predict the life in marriage, but at least if you try and you trust in God that is going to give you a partner, I think it, it's useless going on sleeping with everyone, you know, like the way we have done. Because we have dated people we thought we loved, and we thought that people loved us back. Yeah, we did whatever we did and they ended up leaving us, you know, so I think it can be wise, like I would give myself, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't just waste my time sleeping around with people who don't know what they want or like just, you know, trying out, trying to sleep with people who are saying like, let's date, let's see what the future holds for us, these things of just you know, it's like you're betting on life. I mean, yeah, I think I wouldn't do that. I would keep myself because I want to be with someone who knows what they want. I mean, like, I want to date someone who knows what they want. I want to date someone who who loves me for who I am, not someone who is just seeing the sex part of it. I mean, like, if you know what I'm trying to, to mean here. So, I think I would wait. And also, soul ties. This thing of soul tie is very serious, especially to Christian, if you know. Because, and even if it's not, this thing is not even only about Christian. Even the Muslims, even other religions, even the pagans, they know what comes with sleeping with people. Like, that thing of the soul tie, it is really serious. You know, you get things, you, you know, we get trans, transfer. We end up getting things that we don't know because we think that we are enjoying, because we think that we are having fun and everything. Yet that thing is really serious and it is so respected. So I would keep myself to avoid soul ties because, you know, you know, there is this thing when you don't, when you're just friends before you start dating someone, you don't feel bad. Like you don't, you do not literally feel bad. But the moment you have sex with that person, just know, I don't know how, but you feel like as if you're connected with that person. And if that person wakes up one morning and then they have left you, like they want to leave you or you break up or something like, there's a way it hurts, eh? And you feel like you can't let go of that person. You feel like 
you have some part of that person in you, like, you know, you know what I mean. So, to avoid soul ties, mm -mm, I will keep myself. And maybe another thing is, this would help me to see someone who really loves me for who I am, who I am. not the person who is just loving me because they want to sleep with me. Because the person who is dating you is vibing. You mutu wakukuwa nanga wakuangu iliza weva kena ye. Ay, mutu ya vata kuwa gala. Wadaba mumu kama vaya ambila yone vaya ndinga punga they are married. Eh, sebo. The person who is making you hurry into having sex like. I mean they are not seeing your value. They are not seeing what you can do. They are only seeing um, having pleasure with you. So if I keep myself, I'm going to be able to see someone who is going to be loving me for who I am. And... Yeah, people who are going to choose me for right reasons, not people who are going to choose me because I'm good in bed and everything, you know. So it's going to help me to see someone who really loves me for who I am. Not because I'm good in bed, not because of what, you know. Yeah, and I think it will put value in myself because, I mean, there is this kind of, um, There's this kind of peace you have when you're not sleeping around. I'm telling you, I have kept myself because I decided like I'm not doing it again. But there is a peace that I got, and there is this kind of respect and value that I put on myself. Like I'm not, I'm not so much. I'm not. I'm no longer driven by, you know, lust and love and you know what the man has to offer before I sleep with them. Like there is that kind of value I put on myself, and I feel like it's worth it. Like you feel there is nothing that can buy your value. There is nothing. There is nothing. Because value, you know, I don't know, but I feel value and I feel like I regained my dignity and everything. So I think I would keep myself. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, I think I'm going to redo this video. Bulunji, bulunji. Yeah.